Now people pertaining to the incident that took place at the primary school in St. Catherine between the police woman and the lady. I'm going to ask you all to give me your honest opinion on that incident. Because right now you have a mixed crowd, right? You have people that defend the lady in the white and you have people that defend the police officer. You get me I say? Some people now defend none of them. And some people now say nothing about none of them. But I really want to hear your honest opinion in the comment section now, people. I have a voice note to play. And this voice note is none of my view. It is somebody, an ex-security guard, defending the police officer. I mean, a lot of people, she go hard. Me, I tell you. But from your point of view, after you listen to this voice note, please tell me what you all think about the voice note, the police officer, and the lady everybody over there certain other comment that talk about police around let me tell you something there is a way to deal with things right and we could start off right and end up wrong and this is the case of that lady in the white if the police woman did not execute her duties at the beginning, which we did not see on the video, in the wrong way, that woman should comply, right? That woman should comply with the police and then state her case. A counterclaim or whatever you would call it. Because of the fact that she is fighting the police. What we see on camera. Everybody say oh the police are wrong. Did you all see when it started? And the woman admittedly said that she pointed her finger in the police face. Oh hell no. How could it be that an officer is speaking to you. And you are going to leave your way and point in her face the police officer could have shot her at this point and say that she thought she had a gun in her hand and it would be warranted once you lift up your hand and a point on the police the police could have shot you and all when she knows say your finger the police woman could have shot her and say hey i thought it's a gun she was pointing in my face i'm gonna defend myself people jamaica people need to stop being so dunce Jamaica people need to stop being so blasted illiterate and respect the law, respect the uniform. You don't have to respect the woman, respect the uniform. Once you see a police uniform come to you and give you a directive, follow it. Because at the end of the day, you standing up to defend yourself. Oh, and she pint, and she licked me, but come upon me and in her face. Oh, you're lucky. See, I lick you, get woman. You should I get you pointing your hand in the woman's face could say that you were about to shoot her. She could have defended herself. The police woman is right. Maybe at the initial, her approach, but the minute you said. You said, here where you're going to kill yourself now. Here where you dash where your rights. You said the police woman tell her come out for the compound and the police woman start to talk up about the things and you pint your hand in her face. The woman rang. Everybody had jumped down upon the police. I am with the police woman at this point. You're, 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 people even are saying to you, stop now. Stop now. Go into the vehicle. No, you're big bag and bowl because you have strength. Because you drink up, you juice them. And you come out for the police. How oh, you could fight the police? Eh? And the, you know later on on the line, the same police you want to come defend you. Oh, come on, people. The woman wrong, not the police. The woman, the police are wrong. No way. She should have bite off all her two of them. Bite out all her eye and bite off her nose. Trust me. The woman in white is wrong. 
kudos to the police and people saying that the, the male officer is this and that he could have helped but i could understand too when as he don't want to get implicated to say well they were actually assaulting the woman because that is where it would have reached to they would have said the two police them the pan she no pick sense out of nonsense you don't point in our police face the police could have shoot her point blank because from the time you lift up your hand in a police face me don't know where you come with I was a law enforcer. Not as a police, but as a security. When I get banks and things. Yeah? And we talk about excessive use of force and all of that. Now, she had the uh, police had to get excessive, uh, had, to, had to use excessive use of force because the woman failed to comply. Because if she verbally give you a warning to leave the compound, why would you then not be toe to toe in with her? And pint up in the police face. Come on, people. Listen to what the woman has said. Uno wanna watch the video and just attack on open on feelings. Uno is a lawless set of people. This is really the last days that we're living in. Uno lawless bad. Obvious she is a bad woman. If the police ask you to leave in whatever manner. If the police ask you to leave peaceably. If the police ask you to leave aggressively, leave. Me da walk out and say, What you want? You are a police woman, they talk to me. Me never like how she talk to me at all. Look how she rough me up. She never have no right to talk to me like that. But the minute you go stand up and point your hand in the police face, so whatever, the, you don't have no right. You have no rights. The thing about it is, it's not like it's a police and you didn't know it was a police. You don't respect the woman. Again, I'm going to say respect the uniform. So from a uniform officer comes up to you and say leave, you ought to leave. No questions asked. Officer, but, but, officer, but, leave. Officer, but, me, uh, leave. All you have to do is retreat. Leave. You find the officer. Disrespect you, there is complete authority. Use that. We as a people have to know our rights and know our wrongs. And that woman is wrong. The minute it has to reach to an altercation is because you're wrong. From the police say leave. Whatever happened that caused them to call the police, leave the people compound. Where you have to play, oh you want discipline. Can you discipline your child? So if you are dealing with the officer, so imagine how you deal with your picnic. Imagine how you deal with your mother or your father. Imagine how you deal with your husband or your baby father or your man. Full stop. When do you really draw a line? Where is the line? When does it come down to being respectful? Uno leave the officers alone. Can no for uno still want to say, Oh, my uncle and my uncle officer, my aunt, my auntie officer, my auntie police, my uncle a police, oh my daughter a police, you know, oh my niece a police, you know, my son a police, you know, no glad for say that. But yesterday I want to see him and I bash the police. When anything happen, where the police there, the police never do this. You think say a police interested to protect and serve when you are so disrespectful? Eh? Where you have where you have no warrant? The woman rang. The police could have shoot her and claim that she thought it was a gun. I said this before. Did nothing wrong and they crucify him. What if he was supposed to stand up and defend himself? What would have happened to we today? We wouldn't be living here today, so you know. We wouldn't even exist. Yeah? Don't have your right in your hand and put it down. And that is what that woman did. The police is right. The yeah. hand in my face. I feel threatened like you're going to juke out my eye. I'm going to bite off all your finger. Because now I have to use excessive use of force. Okay? I felt threatened. The argument is, as an officer, I felt threatened. I don't know what she was about to do next. So I take evasive action. And I, to me, in my view, the police was still being soft with her. Trust me, all I cannot talk about if at the closed doors. Oh, so now I go charge somebody for something them not do. We not talk about closed door. Make closed door talk for itself. Oh, she'll be in closed door. No, 
forget that. You can't give me charge for something women I do. You cannot charge me for something. Somebody come and tell you <coughs> that woman there smoke. You see me with a sliff? You see me with a cigarette? No. Yes, no care got coat. No one is above the law. Not even the police is not above the law. Right? You have a, you, 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 I'm sure you have heard of Indicom. Right? That is why Indicom does step in and they does investigate these things. So once you feel like you were disrespected or mishandled by a police, you could file a complaint. A lot of us would not bother to go and file a complaint. Oh, nothing going to come out of it. That going to take too long and we don't bother. Some of us sit down in domestic violence situation and we don't report and we don't say anything because it's the same thing again. That that not going to come out tight and that going to take too long. So we rather to take matters into our own hand by, oh, officer tell me for come off I compound. I now come off for the compound. I have to do something and I now leave. Pint up and in a face. And rightfully you said, it have some young police officer. I've seen it with my own eyes. I was in Jamaica recently and I've seen um, them young soldiers young soldiers on the front line operating as if they are police they are supposed to stand down and let the police do what they have to do and then in case of anything excessive then the soldier is supposed to step in but soldiers walking up and doing police work so we know you and i and a lot of us here know police do step out of their bounds sometime wherein as they are disrespectful in the manner of speaking yes police have talked to me in in, in in a disgusting manner i recently had a personal case which i was summoned to court for something long ago about oh i did hear it i did not show up to court when i didn't even get a summon i did not receive a summon and when the police officer i spoke to the office i wasn't um there and my son spoke to the officer and this police and the officer told my son to tell me what to do and when i go and i meet the officer in person it was a different type of behavior you understand when he said something to me and i said what how oh, oh. he said miss lady and he started to get on i didn't argue with him i still stand down because you know what i'm not gonna have my rights and lose it and this is what you fail to understand that the lady had a right but she lost it the minute she gone and point your finger in the officer's face that is where she lose she writes, you know. The police is not right in speaking to her disrespectful. The police is not right to say, come over the compound in a no disgusting kind of manner. Whether she call her girl or she call her woman or she call her lady or she call her dog or whatever she did. We don't know because we didn't see that part. The woman of herself said that when she told her to leave the compound, she initially went and point up in the officer's face. And she, in her defense now, she said, my finger never touch her. You never have no right to point your finger in her face. So you had a right. The woman had her right. And she gave it up. The minute you go toe to toe with the officer by pointing your hand in the officer's face, she gave up her right. 